Hi folks, welcome to another Odd Artworks. I'm Dewan Moore, illustrator and artist. And I had so much fun last week painting this goblin uh, that I'm going to do something like that again this week. So back to the D&D Monster Manual. This time I'm going to have a crack at redesigning the token bad guy of fantasy, every Dark Lord's first choice for cannon fodder, and everyone's favourite lackey, the Orc. The Orc has been the go-to bad guy from the very beginnings of the genre, often portrayed as savage huge berserkers intent on murder and raiding, often coloured bright green, though I'd love to know where that actually came from. In recent years, however, the Orc's representation has been changed a bit, often portrayed as misunderstood monsters with a proud and noble heritage, persecuted by humans who can't see past the Orc's monstrous appearance. The illustration we get of the Orc in D&D, I think, is pretty cool. I like the changes they made to make it different to the vast amount of orcs in other properties, and on the whole, I just really like it. So the description of the orcs states that they are savage raiders, slightly taller than humans, they have stooped postures, low foreheads, piggish faces, and prominent canines resembling tusks. They have armour made of hide and carry a great axe. Okay, let's see what I can do with that. So the first thing I knew I wanted to do was give the orc a more dynamic pose. In the monster manual he's just stood there looking a bit grumpy. Um, the other thing was in the description there were a few things that stood out to me, a few keywords. One was piggish, so I knew I wanted to change the orc's nose uh, and make them look a little less human. I think that's my problem really, they look too human. The other words were uh, Savage and Raiders, so I also think the orc in the book looks a little too clean, a bit too civilised. Um, I wanted this guy to look intimidating, you know, so if you came across him, it would be a terrifying experience. So I sort of worked on this idea of this big muscled brute running at you like a freight train. Uh, with his outfit, I kind of wanted to avoid giving him big shoulder pads like you see a lot of a lot of uh, illustrations, these big pauldrons, they always make them look a bit like an American football player to me. Uh, so it's quite clear I didn't want to do that. Uh, and obviously I wanted to give him a giant axe. Um, I really wanted to make sure that piggish nose stood out, so I, I did go back to it a few times before I finished the drawing. Uh, as always, the drawing is really just a guide for me for the painting, so I'm just solving some problems until I, I get it onto the board ready to paint. So having transferred the drawing over, I do my usual thing with the value study, if you like. Uh, I've used burnt sienna. Again, it doesn't really matter what colour you use. Um, I did decide burnt sienna because I knew I was going to paint the orb quite a, co quite a cool colour, uh, like a greyish green was what I had in mind, not like the bright green you see in other things. Um, so I actually took my time with this. Normally I rush this process just so I can get, get on to work with actual colour. Uh, but I really wanted to make sure I had the shadows right, really. I wanted him to be quite dark lower down and light higher up uh, to create that illusion that he's it's kind of like a heavy, big thing. So talking about colour theory a little bit, uh, I painted the background, even though this would probably be a spot illustration, I like to work on a ground. Uh, I painted it bright pink because when I knew, when I put that blue on, it would come across as so cold, particularly as I had a feeling the orc was going to be quite cool in his colouring as well, so I just wanted to create a bit of warmth before I started really. When it came to actually painting the details, uh, I was quite surprised really how quickly uh, that sense of life came about the character, you know, sometimes it takes a while until you feel like the character feels alive, but this, this happened almost straight away, which was a kind, kind of nice surprise. So yeah, I went with this kind of greyish, uh, dirty, greeny, pinkish flesh and you know, really worked on making the nose and the tusks stand out. Um, okay, I don't think I've really got too much more to say about the, the painting process for this. It was fairly straightforward. Um, I'm relatively pleased with it at the end. So I will leave you to enjoy the rest of the painting.
say that's the orc pretty much done. A few little highlights here and there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, and if you did, give the video a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Uh, feel free to write in the comments if you want me to have a go at any other monsters from the Monster Manual. I've got a few in mind I might give a go, but if there's any really interesting ones, I'll certainly give them a go. Uh, Alright then folks, with no further ado, uh, have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye now.